A raven spirit is taking the residents of the same building one by one. Don't miss out. Can the psychics stop the otherworldly killer? This is Psychic Investigations. There are only true and impressive stories collected here. People who call themselves clairvoyants solve resonant criminal cases and unravel mysterious paranormal phenomena. Olena Hrinchenko has asked the psychics for help. She and her daughter live in a residential building in one of Ukraine's largest cities. The residents of the communal apartments felt like one big family until some kind of mysterious curse began killing them one by one. Two brothers, Andriy and Ruslan, used to live with me. We grew up together in this apartment. Brothers mysteriously perished one by one under peculiar circumstances. Ruslan, the elder brother, died when he was 32. The cause of the death was rather unexpected, hepatic vein thrombosis. After a while, the younger brother, Andri, died in a car crash. He was also 32. He died momentarily from the fracture in the basis of his skull. After the death of the brothers, only Olena and her daughter, Nastya, remained in the communal apartment. She divorced her husband years ago. The woman and her daughter own three of the five rooms in the apartment. However, they are certain that some kind of evil force has occupied the rooms next door to those that brothers used to live in. The door handle trembles, clacking, like somebody opens the door, and then I hear the noises. Like somebody has passed by, it all makes my blood run cold. Later, Nastya also witnessed the mysterious phenomena. There was no draft. It wasn't windy outside, but the curtains were waving violently, and the ledge fell off. We were visiting Olena when the flower pot slid. It moved itself without anybody touching it. But what happened next caused a nervous breakdown in Olena. She saw a man's ghost in the hallway in front of late brother's rooms. It moved along the hallway and toward the door like it was going to exit. It was a male silhouette, a little taller than I am. To recover from the shock, Olena and her partner went to the countryside to spend some time among the nature. If only she had known what nightmare she would have to experience there. She went into the woods to walk the dog, but she couldn't find the way back. I've gone hiking, and I'm rather good at navigating. I knew I wasn't far away, and I could return. But wherever I went, I found myself in a wrong location. And the most terrible thing is that all that time in front of her, Olena kept seeing the silhouette of the man who had scared her so much at home. So I was wandering around the trying to find my way out. Nobody answered her calls for help, and she didn't have a phone signal. I dialed mom, but she was out of reach. I cried. I was trembling terribly. I thought maybe I should call rescuers to find her. Desperate, Olena climbed a tree. Only this way did she manage to get the signal with her phone. However, nobody found her at the spot she described. It was like she was in a parallel realm. At two in the morning, Olena found herself at a lake. It served as a landmark that helped find her. But another misfortune happened to her immediately afterward. The car in which her friend was driving her home had an accident. There was a large vehicle in front of us. It had a huge wagon attached to it. It made a sharp left turn and hit us on the right side, right where I was sitting. Luckily, nobody suffered in the accident. The following night, Nastya also saw the man from the other world. I woke up with the feeling that somebody was sitting next to me, and I saw a figure touching me. And the mother and the daughter will never forget the thing that happened to them after that. The socket caught fire. It was awful. The moment they extinguished fire and were standing in the middle of the room, shocked, they suddenly heard a male voice. There were noises, like a man was talking, but we knew there was nobody else in the apartment. Nevertheless, Olena and Nastia were so scared that they couldn't make out what the voice was saying. The mother and the daughter begged the psychics to help them. We can't take it any longer. It's a nightmare. The psychics are our only hope. The project's strongest participants, Jana Shulakova and Kayal Alekperov, answered Olena's call for help. I had a very strange dream. In it, I was standing on the rooftop of a building. And there was a flock of birds, ravens, flying above me. 
and then one of them darted at me. The raven turned into a man and said, Look what she's done to me. My jinns are telling me, you will hear a woman scream, and then you'll find a dead child. This is somehow connected to Olena. Hello. 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 You are our last hope. Give me your hand, please. I feel something smother you at night. I see somebody's hands on your neck. I often feel something like that. Like recently, I was sleeping, but then I felt something large creeping along my legs, approaching my face. Like it was crawling along your body. Yes. And then I felt tight pressure, like it was smothering me with the blanket. Like it pressed the edge of the blanket and was holding tightly. I started suffocating and began screaming. If it hadn't been for Olena's partner, nobody knows how it would have ended. I started calling him. He jumped up, and when the blanket was over me, I managed to take a gulp of air. He said he woke up not because I was screaming, but because he felt cold on his skin, like a freezing wind was blowing on him. I see you look out of the window, and there's a flock of birds flying in circles in the sky. Crows gather here all the time, and they sit in front of my window cawing. So, the Raven Man didn't appear for no reason in my dream. The threat is coming from him. The Raven Man from my dream was the spirit that Olena and her daughter saw in their apartment. He shifted his appearance constantly, morphing from a man into a bird. The strange otherworldly entity was a spirit. But why does he turn into the bird? I have a feeling that somebody brought something into your home that summoned this raven man. Can we work in your apartment? Of course. My book shows me Elder Brother. He opens the window, and a raven flies inside. The birds indeed flew into the window. One of them flew into Ruslan's room. After it happened, your neighbor got a terminal illness. I had a vision of a car with a young woman at the wheel and a man sitting next to her. I realized I saw the final moments of the younger brother's life. Then something hit the windshield. It was something like a shadow or a bird. The bird is the spirit that hunted Andre and is now after you. But neither of the late brothers brought the thing that attracted death to their home. The murderous spirit appeared because of a woman. Night, a woman, she's holding a bird. The bird is black, and there is something shiny in her other hand. It's either a knitting needle or a knife. The door banged, but there was no draft. I saw a young man's spirit in front of the front door. Could it be the Raven Man? Wait, where did he go? The man's spirit entered this apartment. He's about 30. He's young, he stops breathing in his sleep. Yes, Alexei died in this apartment. A young woman wakes up next to her man to find him dead. There's a look of terror on her face. Yulia slept next to him when he died in his sleep. Olena's friend Yulia and her fiance lived in this apartment. The couple planned to marry soon. But one night, the man's heart suddenly stopped. Just as Olena's deceased brothers, he was 32. Wait, my book tells me that the woman 
doesn't live anymore. And it happened not so long ago. It will be 40 days since she's gone this Saturday. I have a feeling that she burned from the inside. Yes, and she was also 32. Yulia died from cancer. The doctors discovered the awful condition in the young woman too late. My head's spinning. I can't be here. I need air. Do you hear that? I. A crow's cowing. The spirit is trying to tell us something. He's showing me soil in a woman's hands. And the soil is from somewhere with necrotic energy, like a cemetery. I see a woman, she's crying for her late child. She has fair hair and green eyes. She's a little plumper than you. She says she and her son were killed by a bird. This is Luba. She lived on the fifth floor. Liuba died last year. She was pregnant when she died. Yes, she was seven months into pregnancy. Liuba was found dead in her apartment at six in the morning. Her heart suddenly stopped, and she was also 32 years old, and her unborn baby died together with its mother. Six victims of the Raven Man in the same building. But I feel the spirit didn't want to kill them. Someone purposefully compelled him to eliminate Olena's neighbors. Then Liuba's spirit showed me a woman in the courtyard. The spirit of Liuba, who lived in this building, brought us to you. Did you know her? Yes. It turned out that this woman's name is Lelia. She lives in the next building. My book says that you saved Liuba's daughter from the otherworldly entity when you took her away from here. Did Liuba have a daughter? Yes. I'm her daughter's godmother. After Liuba died suddenly, I adopted her. As it turned, Liuba was a single mother. Dominica's father left her even before the girl was born. Her second unborn child's father did the same. On the night when the mother had a sudden heart attack, her two-year-old daughter was with her. She was crying loudly and the neighbors heard it and came running. And you realized you wouldn't let anyone take the girl. I took her by the hand and took her home. That was it. The girl had no other relatives except her mother. I understood that social workers would arrive soon to take her to an orphanage. So I took her home and then went to their office to file for adoption. Lilia has no children of her own, and she loves little Dominica like her own daughter. I felt nobody could stop me from what I was determined to do. I did everything not to let them take Dominica to the orphanage. Liuba is deeply grateful. She says you feel her daughter like she's your child, but not here, here. Liuba's spirit was grateful that we'd found her friend. She told me, follow the scream. I didn't understand what she mean until I heard desperate yelling, a woman screaming. It's coming from over there. The residents of the building who went outside when they saw the psychics follow Kayal Alekperov. A dead child, a little boy, was lying here. It was Liuba's nephew, Valentin. He was a year and seven months old when he fell out of the fifth floor window. Oh, God. The boy and his parents lived in the same building as Olena, in the Liuba's apartment. Did the boy fall out of that window? Yes. We woke up to a terrifying female yelling. The woman was screaming, help! I looked out of the window and saw him lying down there. The woman was going to work when she discovered the boy lying on the sidewalk. The cards told me his mother was blamed for his death. 
His mother's name is Anna. Where was she? She was in the room with him. She was sleeping, and she didn't feel the boy crawl over her. At the moment of the tragedy, the boy was home with his mother. His father was at work. It was summer and very hot. The window was open. They had a couch by the window, and so he climbed on top of the couch and then to the windowsill and... She only woke up to the screaming. Most probably, yes. The little boy's death ruined the family. After a while, Anna and her husband divorced, and the grieving mother moved out of the building that brought her so much pain. This is very weird. But the Raven Man is connected to the boy's death, too. We need to work in the apartment where the tragedy occurred. The psychics and Olena climb to the fifth floor. I don't feel any negative energy coming from there. Wait, my gins are telling me that the answer is on the rooftop. The Raven Man is up there. There he is standing. I feel a tremor going from my hair to my legs, and it's so freezing cold that I have cramps. He says he doesn't want to kill, but he has to do it. He's showing me something. There's something here. I feel the stench of blood. Jana, look! It's been here for a long time. Jana, be careful. My God. A bird. A crow's skull, wings, feathers, and soil. So eerie. These are the remnants of the black bird, and the soil is from a grave. It's a death charm. Oh my god, who could have done this? The dead boy's mother did it. Valentine's mother, dear god. It's a ritual on a grave, a summoning of a young man's spirit. A woman is carrying it out, and the bird was a ransom. The bird had been killed. Something went wrong during the ritual, and ever since, the spirit of the man from the grave on which the woman carried out the ritual has been locked in the dead bird. Anna made him a killer. But why would she bring so many tragedies? She wanted revenge. Because she was blamed of her son's death. Everyone blamed her. People thought it was her fault. Everybody turned away from her. And she also blamed herself for her son's death. And on top of that, she heard other people's accusations. I'm afraid to imagine the pain the poor mother felt after her little son died. And the people's talks only tore her heart further, killing her. She withdrew into herself and started changing. Yes, yes. She began losing her mind little by little because she saw her little son. He haunted her. The woman decided to use magic to avenge on her peers and friends who had turned their backs on her. This is why she hid the charm on the rooftop right above your apartments. When you suffer from guilt, the last thing you want is deprecation. The deprecation from her closest people made her do it. Each person who tried to accuse the woman died. Yes. We're talking about the woman, but I don't feel her among the living. The one she loved killed her. She started living with her new partner. He beat her badly, and he eventually beat her up to death. God, it's terrible. The spirit of the Raven Man provoked her death, too. If we don't stop him, he'll continue killing. Help us, please. I needed to carry out the ritual to release the man's spirit from the dead bird. 
After that, he can return to the world of the dead, and he won't kill anyone. I'll take the charm and I'll descend. I need soil. I will remain here to clean the building of the destructive spell. The spirit is free. I neutralize the spell and set protection on all the residents of the building. Nothing is threatening you or your neighbors anymore. Thank you so much. It isn't said without a reason. Before you accuse someone of something, you must first take the path they took. In this story, many people paid with their lives for the deprecation of the poor woman. If you're impressed by the story, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Many more incredible investigations are coming up.